Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing X4 Foundations. So currently I am um, outside of this station. It's a trading. Vulture. It's a hi. Uh, where is it? Phoenix Bank Teladi Trading Station. Yes, it's a trading station. So. Um, this station looks uh, similar to uh, stations in Elite Dangerous, right? So you will get um, a feeling about Elite Dangerous once you see uh, this station inside. So I'm going to dock with it. First I'm going to uh, take out the flight assist. So you will get the feeling of um, Elite Dangerous while I talk with it. It's very similar to to the stations we see in Elite Dangerous. Um, but of course, I think that the Elite Dangerous in general has a greater look to it. The graphics. But look at this. It's very similar to what we find in Elite Dangerous. Now, um, I need to dock, but I'm not sure where now. Ah, there. Yes, I have to dock right there. And uh, one difference um, is that it doesn't move, right? But you have uh, the, the, the design and so many things are, are, are similar. The layout, very very similar, and I uh, this is a relatively big station. I think this is one of the biggest stations I've been um, in Elite uh, in here in in X4. I, I mean, and I will show you the interior of this um, station, and what I think about is. How could um, walking, if, if there were space legs uh, and you could walk uh, inside space station uh, in Elite Dangerous, how could it be, right? This is this is how I th this is how I think um, it would be. Discoverer, Vanguard. So I have this um, like scouting ship. I'm in right now. I will get off. So for you who follow me in the, in the channel and have been um, seeing the, the videos about uh, X4, you know this is my ship, you have seen this before. This is a scout ship and look at this, it's a, it's a relatively big station. So I can come up here and see the landing pads. So for you, for those of you who play Elite Dangerous, I am pretty sure that this gives you um, a feeling like a deja vu <laughs> of some sort. Um, but I would expect that if um, Elite Dangerous had a space like it would be something like this, like uh, how would it be to walk inside a, uh, inside a space station? So let's look um, if we can go, because there are like um, other areas in the station. And there are, um, well, there are some like offices Sometimes when you have uh, missions, you you will have access to a bar uh, because you will like um, give some object to to someone in a, in the bar. But otherwise, you don't have access to the bar. So let's try going inside. 
because since it's so big I don't know how to get to other places but look uh, habitat dock area so there are these trading corners here you can trade can I help? here you go yes and the, you can buy and sell stuff here goodbye and here we are in a different area also I'm looking for uh, but I don't see it there are some like um, conveyor belts I, I think I sh maybe I show you the last time uh, this here what they they are doing here they are putting the ships in storage inside the station well three ships at the same time okay so this is what what was going on there and there are some I don't see them now here but there are some conveyor belts that will um, it's like the, the uh, in the airports right like but not not the conveyor belts for the luggage but conveyor like um, conveyor belts for for people that like you could get around you could you could get a, around the station uh, riding those belts but it's strange I don't find them here okay but this is um, this is what I wanted to show you I think it gives you a good idea of uh, what it could be uh, by the way uh, you may see a lot of similarities between X4 uh, Foundations and Elite Dangerous, but they are two different games. Uh, I don't feel like X4 is trying like to to replicate Elite Dangerous. This is more like a strategic game. Currently, I have already three um, ships, and I have two pilots. So two pilots are um, piloting two of the ships and I have this other one ship and I give them orders like to um, travel around and like you can give them tasks to uh, trade or to explore or to attack there are, there are multiple options you can form a fleet and you can build uh, your own station so uh, at some point I was playing this game just by looking at the map and, and giving orders so it's, it becomes a different experience so even though it may start like very similar to Elite Dangerous like you being a freelancer and taking missions and trading, mining, uh, fighting, uh, it becomes, uh, at, at some point it becomes a different game. And you are like more um, building an empire, uh, like taking uh, strategic actions and not anymore doing this. Well, still I do things like missions by my own but but that's because we are only three pilots right we're uh, currently uh, a small a small team but soon enough well we we will have a, a greater 
Um, yeah, greater fleet. But uh, I'm liking a lot the game. Uh, I've been playing it and yeah, there's a bunch of things to do. There's still some some bugs. Uh, sometimes uh, missions can get bugged. Uh, also, sometimes the AI behaves uh, a bit strange. Yeah, uh, that's uh, yeah, the usual thing that they, for example, if they are piloting a ship, they they are trying to get through uh, s from from point A to B, and there's an obstacle, and they could do like weird things uh, to get, like they they don't sort the obstacle, but they will crash into it, or they will do strange things sometimes. Um, but in general, it's 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 in a good state. I I I can recommend this game. Okay, so that's uh, what I wanted to show you. So I hope you liked the video and hope to see you in the next one. So this is uh, Cyber Settler signing off.